hey guys welcome back to coding stuff and this is new tutorial series on to do app with kotlin we'll be using firebase real time database for saving or storing our to dos and this app will be based on single activity architecture we'll be using navigation component so we'll only have this main activity as a single activity then rest of the pages are splash screen login or sign up again home screen this screen will be fragment and we'll also use view binding pop-up dialog fragment in fragment itself and again firebase authentication as well so now let me show you the app that we will be creating so this is splash screen and the next one is sign in fragment and i guess you have seen that animation so now i'll click on this sign up I'll set one password here. This should be simple as coding. And I'll hit on this button. So yeah, user has been registered. Now I'll add some task. So let's say task one. So yeah, it is added here. Let me add another task. So yeah, again I can just edit this task. Uh, let me write task 1.4 and it is updated and again I can just delete the task. So yeah, this uh, so as we move up in this tutorial series, uh, we maybe add some more functionality or you all can suggest me in the comment section so yeah so this is the empty project that I have created and also I have created one firebase project as you can see and also I have uh, created this design in figma so it will be easy for me to create designs in android studio and also let me show you the database structure that we will have so we will have task here as a node and inside that we will have auth, auth ids of each user then we will have the task and the push key we can update and delete the task with this push key so this will be important so let's just start with setting up the project first so first thing that we will do we will create we'll connect our fire We'll connect our Android project to Firebase. So we'll be using real time DB. So we'll not implement MVVM architecture here. Instead, uh, I'll create another tutorial with Cloud Firestore and MVVM architecture. So make sure you subscribe to channel for that tutorial series. So this real time DB to do app will try to keep it simple as beginners can understand but we will be covering most of the topics like view binding navigation component and all so the gradle build has been finished now i'll click on this connect to firebase i'll select this project so now i'll click on this connect and yeah it has been connected now let me just refresh this close this so as you can see my app has been connected com.example.kotlin to do so in the next series of cloud fasto we will uh, do it in mvvm architecture and we may be implement room database as well so yeah stay tuned for that so we will be using authentication there so let me just enable it from here get started and we'll select simple one which is email and password click on save we'll also use firebase real-time database so we will enable it as well let me keep it in the test mode i'll enable it until then we can just add this real-time database sdk to our app 
and also we can add authentication so the real-time database has been set up correctly and we'll also require the navigation component so I'll search for navigation component Android studio and I'll click on this developer.android.com official website so getting started with navigation component so will we require this uh, nav version so I'll copy this and I'll move to the build let's just wait to this so before adding the nav uh, dependency let's just uh, add firebase authentication sdk so I'll click on the accept changes and now we can close this and we'll move to the build.gradle module which is app level we'll go down here I'll paste the nav version here and we'll also copy this Kotlin dependencies I'll paste it over here so firebase database and firebase auth has been added now we will enable the view binding so you just need to write this build features and inside that you need to make your view binding true so it will create classes for all the layout files that we have so you need to add this build build features inside this android block now I'll click on the sync now so the gradle has been synced so now in the activity main instead of having this text view we'll delete it first of all we will create some fragments so I'll click on the package I'll select the new package I'll name it as fragments and inside this we'll create some fragments we'll select fragment blank so the first will be splash fragment then another this will be sign in fragment and then the sign up and then the last one which will be home fragment which will display the task so home fragment we will also require one dialog fragment but we will create it later so now I can just close on the tabs and I'll move to the main activity I'll select this activity main and we can design this uh, splash fragment as it is pretty simple so fragment splash and let me just copy this assets from here so I'll do it real quick so I have added these two colors so you can just copy the hex code or you'll get source code in the description box so this splash screen is ready we just need to set it as italic and bold we can increase this size to ETSP and this looks cool to me you can add fonts and all but I'll not do it now so our splash fragment is ready now we will create one navigation folder in the resource so just click on the resource and we'll create new android resource directory i'll select navigation here and i'll create new navigation resource file i'll name it as a nav graph or you can name it as uh, specific nav graph but we'll be using only one nav graph in this series so I'll just name it as a nav graph and then you just need to click on this new destination button 
first fragment will be of course splash so I'll add this one then we will have sign in fragment then we'll have sign up fragment and then the last one fragment home so I'll keep it over here so the destinations are or links between the fragments we'll add them later we'll go to the official documentation of navigation component scroll down scroll down and we'll copy this fragment container view I'll paste it over here and instead of fragment container view we'll use fragment here yeah that looks fine to me and make sure you have this name similar as we have it over here yeah and then the now graph which is now graph itself so let's just click on that yeah this one so the first screen will be to do this will display for three or four seconds so that's it for the introduction and setup part from the next part we'll start to work on core functionality of this app so yeah do subscribe and thank you for watching